Good morning, folks. The second test of the disaster prediction app occurred last night as alerts about geomagnetic storms needed to be made. We'll cover that and more, but we are starting over at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star was not too calm, but not producing much ejecta either. Small sunspots brighten here and there, but it's nothing major. The incoming plasma filaments present the bigger concern today. One of them trailing actually lifted away as a CME you might be able to see on Lasco feeds this morning. It will miss Earth, but the solar wind isn't missing us, and it's thanks to the now departing coronal hole. As it passes, its particle streams are driving telemetry spikes at Earth in the speed and plasma temperature, purple and green. And the intensified stream has caused geomagnetic storm conditions and unrest for nearly an entire day now. We'll come back to that in a moment, but first we're checking out a galaxy survey, the largest of its kind. Now while you have to give props to the animation team here, if you are a new electric theories proponent, you'd love some movement in redshift science. Couldn't hope to break it all down in a summary video here, but perhaps today's comment section is a good place for a redshift or not discussion. Then, we're in the hottest desert in the world watching snow fall and cover the ground as well. It's the Sahara, in and just east of Morocco. Okay, now on to the app. Folks, the first earthquake test happened on day one. Our alerts included Indonesia and East Timor, just west of PNG, and that region was struck with a magnitude 6.7 one for one on big quakes. But last night we had two geomagnetic storm conditions pop up. This is what my phone looked like for each of them. The smaller alerts below are our app alert system, and the top one is the current number one space weather alert system via phone. It is text only. It costs the same as our app's one-time purchase price, except you have to pay for that one every month. And folks, not a huge deal, but our system has been reporting these storms minutes before them, and yes, that's the NASA guy running that service. So the app is available on Apple and Android. If you can't find it in your app store, we've got links to click here and at our websites. One for one on quakes and two for two on geomagnetic storms. You'll also find links to our second book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. If you're overseas, you can likely reduce shipping costs by using one of the big box stores. USA, use the links we've got here and on the websites. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.